What's up everybody, it's your homeboy Smiley again from HatcherRadio.com. We are here in Louisville, Kentucky at the Happy Days Store with our homeboy Dirtball from the Cottonmouth what Kings. One big question, last time we interviewed a year ago you were doing your solo stuff. What got you into the Cottonmouth Kings out of nowhere? Uh, you know, Daddy X came at me about six months ago and asked me if I'd like to join the group and, uh, you know, help bring some a diff a different energy to the zone. And so we did that. We recorded a bunch, a bunch of tracks from Long Live the Kings. And, uh, yeah, so here we are touring on the record. That's crazy. I know whenever we first saw a couple videos of you back, whenever you're doing the stuff on the NWO tour, they had videos of you sitting in your studio working on a new album. What album would that probably be? Is it still in the works or is it, was it this one? Um, no, I, I was a uh, nervous system. I got a record coming out in September. September, so huh? uh, yeah, it comes out. Shit. Suburban Noise Records, the Dirtball Nervous System, and then but you know I put that on hold to work on Long Live the Kings, and uh, you know we got a lot of new. I mean, it's amazing some of the stuff you've been pulling into the Cotton Kings. I really amazing. like how you interpreted your jumpsuit into the Kings. See, so it's definitely the jumpsuit. Yeah. <laughs> um, What's a big influence on you trying to keep up with you guys? Because I know they've been like a big idol for a lot of people. Did you grow up idolizing them? Um, you know, I wasn't idolizing, but uh, I, I've known of, you know, I've been doing music for a long time, so I've known of them for a long time, and like some of my older bands, I'd send out demos to Superman Noise, yeah. and Tom Out Kings, and you know, I never really uh, actually was like a full-blown follower this yeah. year until, uh, you know, and I slowly slipped in. Moreover, as I signed with someone like about six years ago, so yeah. now I, you know, I'm a full-blown fan, member. <laughs> what, what up? You ever think you'd honestly be a member of Cottonmouth Kings? Yeah, you know, we talked about it a few times, but I, I, I just never really. I'm so all dirtball all the time, you know. So I never really thought about the opportunity or the yeah. option. But it is a good. Uh, it's a really good thing, you know. We're just bouncing each other out of the atmosphere. So here we go. Recently, I've seen you doing a lot of the stuff with the Cottonmouth Kings, and there's still going to be any. Sub noise soldiers with you and Big B or anything like that. Are you guys still doing shit together? Yeah, man. I we, we constantly talk about doing another record together. So think about doing it here in the fall, winter time. Um, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people like to see that. I'd like to get that back out with Big B and do some more touring. There's so much shit going on in, the, in this next little while. So you know, a lot of touring going on. It's gonna have a lot of music coming out. So. An influence for you so far to keep the music. Here. I know we asked you it once, but I'm just curious again. Yeah. Um, to keep doing it. Yeah. I think it's just seeing the, the path that I've taken for so long. It's, it's seeing it actually come to fruition, you know, a little yeah. bit more on each step. It just gives you another chunk of like, wow, this is my life. This is what I do. It's happening. Fuck yeah, you know. So I think that's what keeps me going now. And just, you know, you know, what you love to do. It's, it's a pretty amazing thing. So, and this this step right here with Cottonmouth changed a lot of things. It came at a really good time in my life. So. Um, yeah, it's all up from here, you know, we're not, we're just beginning, really, the way we look at it right now. So. I love seeing you guys here, I know Cottonmouth Kings have been here for like three years, so it's amazing seeing you here with them, being part of them. Nice. It's just amazing, I really appreciate you asking question, man. We've been thinking about a lot of questions I ask you, we've had fans send us questions, they yeah. up about, what got you the name Dirtball? Dirtball, <laughs> Dirtball, I <is> fuck. <laughs> It's it actually came game. out, I've had it since I was about 13, so their ball originally came from drumming, my, my drumming style. It's a kick, snare, and a hat, like dirty beats, that's how it happened. My buddy called me Dirtball, and he was named Sneaks, and he called me Dirtball and Sneaks. That's really where it came from, it's from drumming, so there's yeah. really nothing super special about it, it's just been a nickname of mine forever. I kept it. The reason I like it though is you can Google my name and everything comes up. There's no <laughs> other dirt balls. There's one other like country group, I think. That's a big difference country on you. <laughs> well, man, it's been a pleasure seeing you again here Thank in Louisville, Kentucky, man. Thank you, dude. I'm really fucking honored to get here and chill with you, see you on the stage. At your radio. At your radio is the shit. You at see your it radio here. here. Louisville. We're, We're always making shit happen. Stay tuned, people.